All right, welcome back YouTube. I am Sam with Backcountry Life, and today we're gonna open up one of the parts that I think is a must have for your dirt bike, especially if you're riding gnarly single track. So stay tuned. Let's get right into it. Let's open this bad boy up. A lot of you guys know that um, I like to keep my bike relatively stock. I don't like to do a lot of modifications to it or anything like that. But there are some must have parts that I feel like I can't live without or my bike can't live without. I'm going to show you what those are. So, this is it. You even wrote my name in there. Awesome. So this is the SXS glide plate. It has full coverage, including all the way down to your linkage. So I have been using the AXP glide plate on other bikes, but I have been told that the SXS by my buddy Tyler, who rides his bike pretty hard, that the SXS is a stronger glide plate than the AXP. So I'm pretty excited. It has the hook on the back frame. It's made out of metal, whereas the AXP are made out of plastic. And I have seen that they have been, they get broken right there, which is very nice. It has these two plates and bolts to hold it in when you have it all tightened down. It has this to, to mount to the frame as well. Um, pretty burly. These are actually made here in the US. Um, by SXS out of Idaho. I'll put the link in the description so you can check it out, but it's a solid plate for the money. I personally like these types of glide plates over the aluminum ones. They don't rattle as much. They don't make as much noise. They don't catch on anything. They glide better. Whole idea of the glide plate and offer, in my opinion, just as good as protection as aluminum. Um, as far as are they better than carbon fiber? Yeah, I think they are just because they're cheaper. So, and I think they can take more of abuse than a carbon fiber as well. They're not that, it's not that heavy. It's pretty light, so that's nice as well. Anyway, I'm gonna mount this up to uh, my KTM 250XC and see how hard it is and show you how to mount it up as well. But that's not the only thing. So I also got, in here. These bad boys. So I don't use the full wraparound hand guards. I have, I have used them, but I prefer just the standard flag style hand guards. The ones that come with the KTM are decent, but they still move and are pretty flexible. Well, these don't move. These are really, really gnarly and our buddy Tyler has them um, and he really loves them so I want to try them out as well and so I'll give you guys my thoughts on that but they're called the Burley Guard by SXS so they say destroy the competition not your knuckles well if you ride dirt bikes you know we've all been there regardless of what full wrap around or even flag guards we've all gotten smacked by trees or brush or whatever so rocks Anyway, these are supposed to mount up straight to the KTM, uh, just basically replace the KTM stock OEM uh, flag guards. So we'll see, check that out. But anyways, I'm pretty excited. Like I said, there's a link in the description for to see how much these flag guards and the glide plate clock cost to go to SXS's website. And if you guys aren't already following, don't forget to subscribe for more reviews, tips on dirt biking, snowboarding, outdoor stuff, and also videos on just our, you know, adventures that we do as well. So, and hit us up in the comments below. Let us know if you have any experience or questions with SXS uh, uh, stuff. I want to hear your guys' thoughts or if you just have any 
thoughts about glide plates in general, let me know. I'm happy to chat about it, see if uh, you know you have any questions or if you have any information for me, you feel as though I believe it in the comments below. Anyways, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next week. Thank <laughs> you.